the constitution of Kenya. The responsibility ya kupitisha, ya kufanyia amendment, ya finance bill, haiko katika mikono ya seneti. Iko katika mikono ya national assembly. The proposals that are being made for purpose of amending the finance bill, members of the national assembly must listen to it. This country is not going away. If you wanted to build a project in a period of three years, and it is forcing you to tax Mwanainji more, there's nothing wrong in you spreading it out. You build the project in five years so that you tax Mwanainji less. I'm, I'm confident that next week, Parliament will unlock this. In fact, I'm going to be glued on TV. I see how Fred Ikana will vote. I want to see how Shinali will speak. I want to see Eris, if Eris Muhanda is truly who she says she is. She should now live beyond politics of skirts, wearing skirts and being fit in skirts. Now she moves into politics of analytical thinking. I'm waiting to see that Peter Salasia will move out of TikTok and push the agenda of the people. I'm waiting to see that Navulindo, MP for Matungu, who worked in Parliament for many years before he became an MP, will take advantage of having been a senior officer in Parliament to do the right thing. I'm waiting to see Aseka Miradi, who I hear has some training in accounts, to emerge and we see him. And so do I expect of Dindi Mwale. So do I expect of this guy from Likwani Mwishmua, Mukabe. Uh, we want to see whether Mukabe has now moved out of the little officer he was in the county government of Mombasa to now a national leader. We want to wait. We are with this what we are waiting for. We are waiting for Nabi, who I understand was a senior manager with Coca-Cola, to show his credentials. It's, we have to help the government to succeed. We have to help the president to succeed. And we do so by making informed debate and informed voting on the floor of the House.